Would you guys today we're taking a look at how to explore files backed up using Windows Backup. Now if you've backed up your files uh, using Windows Backup then you might want to explore that image or that file that you've created so you can pull some files out and copy them back to your desktop. So how would you go about doing that? A lot of people have asked me this question on how you can view your backup images using the Windows Backup tool. So here is some backups that I've got here and I'm just going to show you exactly how you can go about uh, mounting these and exploring them and accessing all the data on that uh, backup that you've created. If you try to click on it like this, it's not going to allow you to explore it at all because it doesn't work that way. And I'll show you how you can explore it rather than completely restore the backup itself. So what you want to do is right click on the start button and go to disk management. Once disk management is opened up, Go to Actions up the very top and attach a VHD. Once you click on Attach VHD, this little box will pop up here. You can now browse to your backup image file here. So we're going to go ahead and select a backup image file here, this one here. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on Open to open the actual file. What this is going to do is mount this image so we can now explore it. Once we've got this done, you can either select it as read only, and you can see here we do have this image right here. But unfortunately, at the moment, we don't have a drive letter, so we need to give the drive a letter so it will mount and we can then look inside of that drive image. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to quickly uh, take a look at the actual drive here. This is it right here uh, that we've got mounted and it just gives you some basic information. But to actually give it a, a letter, a drive letter, all you need to do is select the drive that you want to give a drive letter to, which will be this large one here. Right click on it and change drive letter and then add a drive letter. Make sure the drive letter is not in use. This one is in use. And if you select it and you choose that drive letter, you'll get a warning. And basically what will happen is when you go to explore that drive letter, it's not going to populate and it's not going to allow you to access the drive because the drive letter is already in use. So you have to make sure that when you try to click on open or explore here, that the drive letter is not already used by another drive. So let me quickly change the drive letter to drive G instead of drive Z. And that way I'll be able to access the data on it. So you can see here it's not loading because the drive letter has been used by some network drive that I have. So I'm going to close this off and we're going to now put drive letter G here. You can see here on this drive letter here, we do now have drive letter G. Because we've mounted it, we can now go inside and explore all the files inside here. So let's go into users here of that image and we can look at all the data inside here on the main user account. And as you can see here, this is all the data here. I can now go into here and copy any of this data straight back to my computer. Once you've made the image of it, you'll be able to mount it just like this and explore it and pull out files that you may need on your uh, main PC. And you can then uh, do whatever you like with it. So basically that is it. And once you've finished uh, taking out the data that you want, you can right click on it and uh, detach the VHD image from the computer. And it's now gone back to the way it was before. And that's it. Without reinstalling the image itself, you don't have to go through all that process. You can just basically pull out the files you need by doing exactly what I showed you in this video. Anyway, with that said, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server of chat. Bye for now.